their catastrophic events in the country's history will definitely want to we'll definitely want to put behind us but truth is we can't seem to outrun the severe economic effects catastrophic storms have had on the Bahamas in recent years these monster storms have accounted for billions of dollars well, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis noting in his 2024-2025 budget communications just last week that according to the IDB, the Bahamas has sustained $7.7 .7 billion in economic losses within the last 10 years from the impact of extreme storms like Dorian and Matthew. Their aftermath slowing our national development and haunting us physically, emotionally, and financially. The Prime Minister says, to put it simply, we're paying for hurricanes of the past as well as the future. Well, Red Cross President Edison Sumner says that due to aged infrastructure and systems that just weren't properly implemented, the economy already sits vulnerable to these kinds of external shocks. You're talking about a significant loss in infrastructure, um, and that loss in infrastructure has had an exacerbating impact on everything else that happens because you know the economy is built off of infrastructure we can't do anything without proper infrastructure in place so when we were saying the loss that we've had over several hurricanes uh, where the infrastructure was was uh, interrupted or damaged um, it has had an impact on the economy because now money that would have been otherwise earmarked for other areas of development would have to go into first repairing damage that was done and then the damage that was done over the years has also exposed vulnerabilities and in infrastructure that needed to be improved upon. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, follow us at ZNS Digital on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or X. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on our website at ZNSBahamas.com.